Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Word that it will be able to continue as a Medicare and Medicaid provider comes as a big relief to the hospital, which was already reeling from the loss of accreditation from the Joint Accrediting Commission earlier this year. That CMS accepted their corrective action plan is a bit of vindication for GMH management, which was scrutinized and criticized for weeks by the legislature, in part because of fears about possible removal from the Medicare and Medicaid programs. Administrator Peter John Camacho. I think some of the... the Disappointment for us is that we're made to feel like we're not we're not telling the truth. They don't believe us. And it's like, well, we're not asking for this money to have a big block party. You know, there are really things that need to be done here and need to be taken care of. Camacho still regrets not getting what they've long been pushing as a permanent solution, a dedicated funding source. Senators passed but later withdrew a tax hike that was supposed to take care of that. I know uh, people get tired of hearing this, but. Governor Calvo has really worked hard over these last several years, uh, especially since I've been back as well, to, and I've seen it, to, to try to find that dedicated funding source so that we can do that, that uh, we can project and we can plan for equipment uh, replacement. And for vendor payments, employee retirement contributions, and the list goes on, says Camacho. If we don't have it, then it's going to be a matter of, okay, I'm going to defer that. You wait over there because this is now a priority. And that's just as, a, as much a priority as this one. And while Camacho is confident they will fix the current deficiencies, now they may have more to worry about. Now that they are more aware, and now that because of all of this negative attention that the hospital has gotten, they're gonna, they told us they're going to come and they're going to look out for the electrical panel. They're going to check the leaky roof. They're probably going to do more, uh, a th more uh, comprehensive review of all of the medical equipment. He says he doesn't know when the inspection team will be back, but they will be back and they'll be checking whether the hospital has fixed the deficiencies they said they would fix. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.